Okay, so I'm currently parked up just outside the gates of the test centre. It's a Sunday morning, so uh, the gates are shut and padlocked, so we haven't got any worries about uh, obstructing anybody. The test centre car park is directly behind me. Um, I just want to uh, give you a quick look-see of us coming out of the test centre and heading out on a potential test route. Um, one thing I want you to be clear about is that on the left, just at the side of the post on the very left hand side of the screen, is a, a little one way lane. Now you're only supposed to go in that lane from the right into the left so that they're um, going away from you to the left. However, you do often get cars coming out of there against the one way. So make sure you have a glance. You also get cyclists, a lot of cyclists. So have a glance to your left as you come through the gates just to make sure that there's nobody coming out there. They should give way to you. You've got the right of way, but just be careful. Um, like I say, um, just make sure that there's nothing coming that way and um, so you can be prepared to stop if you need to. Um, so I just wanted to make that clear. So we're gonna set off now and head away from the test center um, off towards the roundabout at the end of Belmore Road. Um, where the Derby Test Centre is, where the Blue Jay Pub and McDonald's is. So we're going round to the right, then round to the left. Take your time round here, nice and steady, there's no rush. Now here, as I've often mentioned before, um, cycles, cycles, cycles. Be very cautious as you approach here. Mirrors and right hand signal, back to first gear, roll up to the giveaway and have a good look for cycles. Thankfully there's none about today, or not at the moment anyway, but during test times there are often cycles coming down the cycle path off Rainsway and down here, so be cautious, yeah, no excuses, be careful. Okay, we carry on down this road, down to the traffic lights at the end. I'm going to turn left and go up Rainsway, there's three ways you can go, you can go left up Rainsway, you can go left and over the bridge towards the M1 South and East Midlands Airport, or you can go across to the traffic lights and turn right towards the Blue Peter and Alveston. I'm going to turn left towards Rainsway on this instance, um, possibly the easiest route out of the test centre I suppose you could argue, um, but none of them are particularly difficult, so mirrors and left signal. Another learner there in front of us having a practice, he's turning right, so he's in the right hand lane. So it's only a give way here, so you only have to give way. The lights have nothing to do with us here. There's nothing coming from my right now. So off we go and keep to the left. Range Rover on the right there, he's taking the M1 South and East Midlands Airport route. That's another way you could go, um, but we're going this way. So thick solid white lines on the right hand side, which means we cannot cross those lines, but we will be joining bit further up so I'm going to get my right signal on, checking my right mirror, quick glance to the side, make sure there's nobody at the side of me, which there isn't, gently ease out onto the uh, first lane, it's a 50 mile an hour limit as I'm sure you're aware, so we just want to be careful here of people turning left into Rolls Royce, that's the Rolls Royce building you can see in front of us, um, there are turnings up here for people to go in there, so be wary of people jumping on the brakes and suddenly turning left, it's a good idea to keep an eye on your right hand lane um, to see if you can move out if you need to. I've just checked it and there's nothing there at all. You see that turning there. They are quite, quite often people turn left there. There's another one a little bit further up as well. And as you can see, I'm keeping a good gap between me and the vehicle in front in case they were to jump on the brakes again. Uh, another junction there. Right, we're going to move into the right hand lane here to follow the signs of Borrowash, Spondon and Chad, as you can see on the big green sign on the left. So signal, there's nobody at the side of me. Gently move over to, into the outside lane and in the Chad and Borowash uh, lane. As we go down here, I'm going to assume that you haven't got local knowledge because not everybody lives close to the test centre. Um, so the examiner or the sat nav may say at the next roundabout follow the road ahead, second exit. Now I wouldn't know if I wasn't local which I am, but if we didn't, we wouldn't know what lane to use. So if you see where the lights are, just beyond the lights, you can see road markings, where the van is now. This left lane is left only. The right hand lane is right and straight on, so we're gonna move into the right hand lane with a mirror and a signal, knock the signal off. This lane then splits into two. We're gonna take the left of the two, the middle lane, and point the car at the white house in front of you. So it's pointing straight at it like that. Check into the right, there's a couple of cars coming, so I'm just gonna pause. And then when you go, go into the left lane. So just aim at the white house, keep in the left lane, round 
left signal and left mirror. It's a very common fail point that, that when people set off on the roundabout they're moving to the right hand lane of the roundabout, which it, to be fair is almost straight in front of them. Just make sure you turn the wheel a little to the left, aim at the white house and keep into the left lane as you go round the roundabout when you're going straight on. Okay, the left lane goes left into Chad, that lane goes in the left lane to go straight on and the right lane on the approach goes into the right hand lane to turn right down towards Asda. Be very, very, very careful there. Many, many people fail at that point, hence the point of the video. Okay, it's a 40 limit up to here. We've just passed the national speed limit sign, so I'm going to bring the speed up to 60 and we'll proceed up to the roundabout in about a mile or so. So have a look at the video a few times, get that clear in your head so that if you come this way, you know exactly what to do. Thank you.